Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be comparing two different shotgun microphones. One is a very expensive option, but also a very popular option in the film and TV uh, production world, and that's the Sennheiser MKH416. The other one is a budget version of the microphone, and that's the uh, Synco Mic D2. Now, I already did an in-depth review of the Synco D2 microphone, uh, so you guys can check that out if you want to. But in this video specifically, I want to sort of compare those two mics and kind of uh, give you an example of uh, basically how these different microphones sound next to each other. So I actually do have them set up up here and I kind of configured them and, uh, you know, using the same cables, it's the same stands, everything pretty much the same uh, and recording it in the same recorder so that I can kind of as closely as I can match the, the you know, the, the recordings on these two microphones. All of the recordings you're going to be hearing here in this video are unprocessed, so they might sound a little dull, not like a typical video that's well produced. But that's because I just want to let you guys hear the actual audio. And now, as I'm going to be switching uh, the audio in this uh, video, you're going to be able to see it in the corner, uh, basically, which microphone is recording. Now, at the beginning of the video, I'm just going to tell you microphone A, microphone B. And I want you guys to actually watch this video and as you're kind of listening to the different microphones, just let, let me know in the comments below which microphone you think, uh, you know, basically sounds best. Microphone A, microphone B. And even if you want to, let me know uh, which microphone you think that is, whether it's the Synco or the Sennheiser. Uh, anyways, let's kind of start with the test. So uh, right now I'm basically recording on one of these microphones. Uh, by the way, uh, these microphones have uh, a windscreen on it that comes included with these mics. So. I'm using basically whatever is provided and they're actually right now on the same stands but they have their own little sort of clips that they both come in. Uh, so right now you're listening to basically the audio from one of these microphones. I'm not going to tell you uh, which one it is or which brand. Uh, now I'm going to switch it actually here. So now we're on the other microphone and I'm kind of switching it. I'm trying not to record both of them at once to kind of avoid any phasing issues and things like that. Uh, anyways, I'm going to also kind of show you uh, the different things that come with it. So the Synco Mic D2 comes with a nice case and this is kind of how it looks. It comes with a quarter 20 to 3 eighths kind of adapter here because it comes with a little stand uh, and it's you know the case is nicely padded as you can see. Uh, it also comes with a little XLR cable that you can use if you want to. And the, the case here for Sennheiser it looks like this. You also have the quarter 20 to 3 eighths adapter for the little clip on basically mic stand and it comes also with the windscreen kind of maybe uh, while I'm kind of talking you know I'm going to sometimes kind of move a little bit further away and moving closer so you can kind of see how these mics uh, work when they're picking up the different frequencies uh, I mean maybe try to do that again while switching the mics so again this is me kind of talking closer this is talking on mic B right now we're recording and me kind of further away and me kind of closer and then again I'm going to switch this is microphone A again up close this is how it sounds and now I'm kind of further away this is how it sounds by the way guys this video is not sponsored by either Sennheiser or Synco it is sponsored by all of you guys who support my work by purchasing my products on my website at tomantosfilms.com so you guys already heard the audio samples indoors at a close range so now I'm going to do various samples here outside and uh, right now the microphone is set at three feet away from the subject uh, and it's you know, more or less kind of from the front a little bit like a three quarters from an angle i'm going to be moving the microphone and trying different distances and then different uh, microphones again watch out for in the corner to see which microphone you're listening to at any given time the odds of going to the store for a loaf of bread and coming out with only a loaf of bread are three billion to none the worst part about online shopping is having to get up and get your card out of your handbag. <laughs> it's true, it's always like, oh my god. Okay. Some things are better left unsaid, which I generally realize right after I have said them. Accept who you are, unless you're a serial killer. If you read a lot of books, you're considered well-read. But if you watch a lot of TV, you're not considered well-viewed. I've reached that age where my brain goes from you probably shouldn't say that to what the hell let's see what happens college was like a four-year game show called do my friends hate me or do i just need to go to sleep having those weird conversations with your friend and thinking if anyone hurt us we'd be put in a mental hospital son if you really want something in this life you have to work for it 
Not quiet. They're about to announce the lottery numbers. <laughs> Most people work just hard enough not to get fired and get paid just enough money to not quit. I used up all my sick leave, so I called in dead. <laughs> I always arrive late at the office, but I make up for it by leaving early. I will always choose a lazy person to do a hard job because a lazy person will find an easy way to do it. Every day I get up and look through the Forbes list of the richest people in America. If I'm not there, I go to work. And hopefully these tests give you guys a good idea of how the microphones pick up various frequencies at different distances and also how well they are at eliminating any sounds from the sides or behind the microphone. I'm also going to try to record some subtle sounds of the water. And I'm also going to do maybe some uh, recordings here of uh, my footsteps. And now maybe I'm going to do a quick test with background noise and kind of rejection. At like 90 degrees, both of these microphones claim to be uh, performing the same as far as sound rejection meaning it's a shotgun microphone so in case you didn't know it's made basically the polarity of it is kind of designed to pick up sounds from where the microphone is actually pointing to and it's supposed to reject sounds from the side or from behind it uh, so i'm going to play some background noise here so here we got some little background noise and i'm going to go here from the side this is 90 degrees, and this is how it sounds. And from behind. Now I'm gonna switch to this microphone, microphone A, and this is how it sounds when I go to the side. So side, and now I'm gonna go behind. Hopefully it rejects that sound well. And this is how it sounds when it's in front. When it comes to the design of these microphones, they look almost identical. Like the materials that are being used, the kind of finish, the kind of texture of the surfaces of these microphones, uh, the weight, the length of them, I mean, almost everything. The uh, little design here at the end with the little notches. Now, the little notches here on the actual tubes in the front, those are a little bit different. The Sennheiser has them kind of going sideways, whereas uh, the ones on the sink are kind of slanted. But uh, even the weight of it, like identical, almost, like I said, design to both of these microphones. So it's kind of hard to say which one's more durable uh, unless, again, you do some actual like testing of these microphones over many, you know, many different projects, many different months probably of work and different environments to really see which one uh, can take the elements better. All right, so hopefully you guys are enjoying this video so far and you kind of, you know, you've, you've put in your answers in the comments below as to which microphone you think is which and which one you think sounds better or even if you don't know which microphone whether microphone a or b is the sennheiser or or, or the uh or the Senko, uh then at least put in there basically your opinion whether you think microphone a or microphone b is the better sounding so again leave your comments down below let me know so make sure you're not cheating <laughs> and now i'm actually going to reveal which microphone's which so Let's switch here to my microphone number A. And microphone number A, which is this one here on your left, that's the Sennheiser MKH416. And microphone B is the Synco Mic D2. Now, instead of me telling you guys what my opinion is and whether you know, I think you know, the Synco or the Sennheiser is better, uh, I'll, I'll just basically let you guys be sort of the judge. I'll give you my opinion, but at the end of the day, I can tell you sort of individually. The Sennheiser microphone, I mean, it's a great microphone. I've seen it personally used on a lot of productions when, when you know, productions where I was working as a cinematographer or visual effects supervisor, uh, because again, I'm not an audio guy on films. I don't, that's not what I specialize in. Uh, but here, my online videos, I kind of review them, uh, these different products. But again, it's not, not a, that's not what I do as my main profession. But I've seen this microphone being used in all kinds of environments, and it's never basically, or at least I've never seen it fail uh, stop working in the middle of production. 
the Cinco, that's something that I can't say about because I, to be honest, I haven't seen it used on any production other than my little productions that I've been using. But uh, again, I've been hearing a lot of people saying that these two microphones are so similar in time that when it comes to the performance, uh, yet so different, obviously, you know, when it comes to price. This microphone, like I said, is definitely gives you a bigger bang for your back. Now, is it going to be as good uh, in the long range as durable? I can't say that because, again, I haven't seen it being used over the amount of years that I've seen this being used and on so many productions. So, so that, again, is something that's very, I would say, it, it only time will tell, I guess. Uh, but I am curious, like I said, to hear your opinion, like from these tests so far, which microphone you guys think sounds, you know, drastically better. Or maybe if you think they're similar, maybe, you know, not identical, but they're not that drastically different. Again, let me know your opinion. Uh, anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And like I said, if you guys want to see the full in-depth review of the Synco Mic D2, then check that out. You'll find the links of that uh, in the description of this video. Or as always, just head on over to my website at tomantosfilms.com where you're going to find a whole bunch of other filmmaking gear, you know, reviews, filmmaking tips, tricks, tutorials, that kind of stuff. Uh, anyways, once again, my name is Tom Antos and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!